So today I thought I would do an Erin Condren haul. I don't usually do Erin Condren hauls because I just buy the planners I need and then just move right along. And I already kind of have. I've bought my planner for next year and I bought just a neutral planner. And I also bought the watercolor vertical version for next year just so I could familiarize myself with the layouts and the colors for the shop. And that was pretty much all I bought. I was pretty good about it. I don't really like buying too many extras. But Erin Condren has been releasing quite a few new items which I thought were very interesting and I thought I would just give them a go. They seemed really good. So these are kind of extras. They aren't really life planners although one of well, kind of two of them are, are life planners, but there's a couple other bits and pieces that I threw in. Just because with Erin Condren, I feel like I always just stick to like the vertical planner. I'm very like loyal to that, but I don't really explore some of the other options they have. So I sort of took the opportunity to. All right, so first item, oh, I don't have a lot of space on my desk right now, so I'm sorry if you can see all that. So the first item I picked up was this one. It is a normal journal. It's not ring bound or anything like that and basically it's all grids so I wanted to get this to see if I could do a little bit of bullet journaling in this one I have lots of journals to bullet journal in but I've been really getting into the whole grid layout not grid sorry I've been really getting into the dotted layout recently because it's given me so much more flexibility on how I want to write things so it's not just a bullet journaling but just writing or taking notes in general I feel like it's just so much easier to use and clearer for me than say grid or line. I feel like line and grid are really good if I'm in a rush but if I really want to document things properly then this is a good alternative for me. Obviously I probably am not reading the descriptions properly because I just realized that the edges here are all perforated so you can um, you can actually rip this entire page out. You can rip all the pages out because it's all perforated down to the edge here which is a slight downside. I wasn't expecting that but I blame that on myself for not reading the description properly because I'm sure it said that. Um, and the only reason I'm not a big fan of that is because I'm more worried that the pages might fall out or rather that, um, oh, okay, there you go. Oh no, that's not really the pages falling out. That's just the, the, oh, oh that's really making me sad. I didn't think it should do that just by laying it flat. Oh no, the whole page is going to fall out. Oh well, okay. This is not going as expected. That's kind of annoying. I guess it is meant, maybe it's not supposed to be a book journal, but you're supposed to pull the pages out. But then why wouldn't it just detach from this perforated edge rather than from the actual hinge? Okay, well, that's kind of disappointing. Ugh. I guess I can't really say I recommend this anymore because I'd like a book to keep its pages in unless I distinctly want to pull them out. Unless I did something wrong, but you guys saw exactly what I did. I don't know if I did anything wrong. Um, but yeah, okay. Well, I was hoping, what I was trying to say is that I wanted the dots to go right up to the edge so that I could like maybe have tables that go across two pages, but I guess that's not going to work now. So um, yeah, I think if you want that, maybe don't get this. Now that I've opened it and I have kind of sort of broken it, I'm just going to set it aside. I'm really not sure what I'm going to use it for now because that's going to really annoy me if the pages start falling out. Anyways, moving right along. I think this is just a sample of something that comes with the existing planners that I must have ordered. It's basically just a little small booklet that um, allows you to write down birthdays and anniversaries and stuff like that. I think that comes with every life planner. Some other things I got with these two notebooks and I got them for their beautiful color and the fact that I put my name on them. So I'm just going to quickly open these up. So these are the two. This is kind of, this is a rose gold foiling and this is silver. I kind of picked it based on the color of the journal, but Oh, I love this. So I already have one of these in the turquoise. When I ordered my life planner, my original life planners, they sent a free turquoise one, but it didn't have my name because it was free and I really love it. It's just such a beautiful, high quality bounded book. And I love that it can lie really flat as well. So I thought I would pick up a couple extras in the two colors that I really like. And this is kind of like a sand color. So you can see it's all lined, which is great for note taking. These to me are like such nice, beautiful quality notebooks, which is kind of in contrast to the one I just showed you before. 
Okay, so the next notebook, well, not notebook, this is one of the life planners I picked up. This is the Horizontal Life Planner. So I don't normally use the Horizontal Planners for Erin Condren. I don't know, they just never resonated with me. But the one thing I really liked about this is that it isn't a hardbound. It's um, much smaller. I think that was the main thing. I remember when I was, when I filmed my Happy Planner haul and I picked up like a small Happy Planner. It wasn't like the normal size of an Erin Condren. It was like a much more miniature version. And I was thinking to myself, well, I said in the video that I wish Erin Condren had something that size because it's so cute. And one of you guys recommended that I try out the hard bounded version of the Erin Condren in um, the horizontal because that does come in a smaller version as you can see. So I picked it up. It's very similar quality to these guys. It feels very luxurious. It feels very nice. I'm just going to pull this little tab out. It is literally like the horizontal planner, like in terms of layout, but smaller. I could really get used to. The only downside is I feel like this is really thick. I guess because it does cover 18 weeks. In retrospect, I feel like I should have gotten 12, oh, 18 weeks, 18 months. I feel like I should have gotten the 12 months. I feel like that would have been a nicer size to work with, but this is fine as well. This at least will last me a long time. But yeah, you can see the pages. It's, it's pretty much identical to the coiled version that's a bit larger, but miniaturized. I don't know how many... Oh, but the colours are different. Am I missing? Oh, okay. No, no, no. The colours are different. Yeah, the colours are different. I just... It just occurred to me. I wonder if this is the colours of the um, horizontal version in the coiled. I'm pretty sure the horizontal coiled match the vertical coiled. And maybe this is just different colours. Because I know that for August, it's, it's yellow. October is usually orange. November is a dark blue. And December is usually a light green, so maybe the color difference is just for this one. Hmm. Gonna have to find out. I was gonna ask if anyone uses this with stickers because I wondered whether I should make any checkboxes that would fit these. But I actually haven't seen anyone else really using these on Instagram or anything like that, so we'll see how that goes. All right. The next thing I bought was stickers. <laughs> Because when I first started using Erin Condren, they themselves didn't come out with very many stickers for planning. Like you still had these um, these sort of like rectangular stickers that came in the back of your journal, but you didn't have many decorative stickers, which I think is why the Etsy community just exploded and got really, really big. But I've noticed that Erin Condren have been trying to get into stickers more recently. And I'm opening this all wrong. So I thought I would pick up one of their sticker books because I had a lot of fun with the Mambi only stickers. So I thought wouldn't it be fun to do a plan with me using only Erin Condren stickers instead. So that's part of why I got the sticker book. And I definitely know these will fit <laughs> because it is made for the Erin Condren. These books remind me a lot of the Kiki K sticker books if I was honest with you. Like the feel, the quality, everything like that. It really reminds me of the Kiki K sticker books. But I think I'm definitely going to use this for a plan with me in the future. So yeah, you may see this book again pretty soon. This one is just a free sheet that seemed to come with the order. I noticed that if you order, like, I don't know, I feel like for a lot of the orders I've done with Erin Condren, I always get like a couple freebie things, like whether it's free sticker sheets or a free notebook or something like that. So, I mean, I'm not personally going to be using this, but it's the thought that counts. The next item I bought was this one. It's not going to fit in very well, so I'm going to zoom out. It is actually a life planner, as you can see, but it is the hourly life planner. And I'm kind of relieved to see that it is using the same color themes as the verticals, so that at least I know my stickers, if they fit, will work in this journal really well. But I kind of tossed up between getting 18 months and 12 months. And then I thought, you know what? I could just get the 18 months because it wasn't that much more expensive. It's $5 more. And if the thickness, like the bulkiness of the planner really irritates me, I can just pull these pages out, which I may do at some point. I'm not really sure yet. I guess I really want to start using this. I got this for two reasons. One is that I was thinking of making stickers for this because I thought it would be really great. And quite honestly, I saw Rachmark on Instagram using this as one of her planners. And the way she plans in it is so inspiring. She is one of my favorite Instagrammers. She has the most beautiful layouts and she does things so beautifully. So I blame her. She completely inspired me to pick this journal up and I wanted to give it a go myself and see if I would be any good planning in it. So thank you, Rachel, for the idea. 
for the beautiful spreads that you always make. So yeah, I can't wait to try this out, see how I go. And so this is the last eyeliner I got. It feels weird because this is actually the same size and sort of format as a normal life planner for me but the coil is so much smaller and it's really thin because it's actually a notebook it's a dotted notebook and oh i've just realized the edges are perforated as well <laughs> but that's okay i actually think i'm gonna like this one a lot more because it's in the coil so i can like flip it around and take notes like this now that I have this one and I have the other one that's more like like a spiral bound version and a non-spiral version, I think this one is going to be so much better in terms of if you like the dotted grid pattern just because, well, one, the pages aren't just going to fall out on you. But, I don't know, it feels like this is much more solidly built and a lot easier to use. Granted, I think, is it much bigger? Let me just compare. No, it's about the same size. The only difference is that these coils stick out so it may feel bigger, but they're about the same size. And it's the same sort of format grid. I think, I don't know, I think you get the same amount of paper on both, except here, oh, you get some stickers at the back as well. Just one sheet of stickers, but that's all you really need. So yeah. Whew. So those are all the items I bought in my latest Erin Condren haul, minus the two life journals that I purchased prior to this haul but yeah i really hope you found this haul useful interesting i don't know i like doing hauls if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to see my next plan with me video then be sure to subscribe this is selena reporting from my room back to you internet